Hi, welcome to excelrush.com. Today we are going to learn how to create a real time stocks portfolio using Google Sheets. There is a function called equal to Google Finance in Sheets which helps you do a lot of things. I have split up this into three videos. So make sure that after you go through this one video, you must go through the second and the third part of the video also. Let's see what you want to achieve first. This is the portfolio that we are going to achieve by the end of this tutorial. We have the script code, which is a BSE code. We have the name, the buy quantity, average cost, total buy value, the current market price. CMP means current market price. Then we want the 52 week high and 52 week low. We want the total current value, percentage weightage, profit loss, returns, whether a profit or a loss in terms of percentage, yesterday's value and change from yesterday. Let's go through it step by step. First, how do we get these codes? So I have put BSC codes. You can put even NSC codes, whatever codes you want. So first we will go to a website called google.com slash finance. When you go to this website, you can put a name of a company. So let's say I am putting Reliance Industries. Here you will see Reliance Industries. If you see alphabetical code, that is the NSC code, National Stock Exchange code. If you see a number that is a PIC code and the Bombay Stock Exchange code. So I can click on this and I will get the price of Reliance Industries. Here is the code that I'm really looking for. So I'll copy this code. Now let's open a blank sheet where we are going to learn this. So I'm putting the code here. I pasted the code here. Similarly, I can go ahead and look for one more code. Let's say I go for Ambuja Cement. When I go for Ambuja Cements, I get this code again from here. I copy it and I paste it here. Now, in the script name, I can put a formula which says equal to Google Finance. The first thing that I need to do is take the script code, comma, in double quotes put N-A-M-E, double quotes close bracket close. It will load a bit and it will give me the name. If I copy the formula down, it will give me the name for that too. Now for the current market price, I can simply say equal to Google Finance script code and directly close the bracket. It doesn't need anything. I close the bracket and press enter and I get the current value. Now if you observe below, it says quotes are not sourced from all markets and may be delayed up to 20 minutes. So we may say that this is real time, but honestly it is delayed up to 20 minutes, which is not a very big thing if you are a day trader. If you are a day trader anyways, you will not use Google Sheets for this. So this is how you can achieve the script code, the script name and the current market price using equal to Google Finance function. Now you can enter a buy quantity. Let's say I bought 100 quantity of Reliance at a price of 654. So I can multiply these two and get my total buy value. I bought Ambuja Cements 50 shares at 343 rupees average cost again I will multiply so I copy this formula down and I will get my total buy value this was the first video do go through the second and the third video to continue learning